Hello everyone, welcome to PC Tech Help. This is Cyber Sorcerer. Uh, we're going to do a quick uh, video here. I did some vi uh, prior videos on firewalls and uh, logs. A lot of times when your firewall stops something or, you know, at least once a week you want to check through your firewalls to see what it's stopping, what's trying to get through, and stuff like that. Now, this is just a basic video on uh, the basic uh, built-in firewall into Windows. And there's a number of ways that you can get through the, get to this. And I'll show you uh, just a couple here. I'm going to try to get this video in under 10 minutes. But first thing, you can go down, click on your Start menu, go to Connect To and Show All Connections. Now to bring up your Connections tab with all the connections that you have running at the moment. You can see I got quite a bit. And then you just right click on the connection that you're that you're looking for and click properties and now bring up your properties window now in your properties window up here you want to go to advanced and you know this is a long way of going about it there's a quicker way that I'll show you how to get there but it, uh, just so you know that this is the way to do it first uh, entry is Windows firewall you click on settings and you know my again my capturing software slows the system down quite a bit as we wait for it to come up and there we have it this is your firewall control panel now I'll go ahead show you a much quicker way to get to it again we're going to start down here go to run and you just put in firewall dot cpl and that's the extension for control panel it will come back out wait for that to come up and here we have our control panel now the first the first one here let me zoom in so everybody can see first one here is the general tab that just tells you if it's on or off and uh, the don't allow exceptions right here let me lock this so we're not moving around you got the don't allow exceptions which we'll cover in a minute that's the exceptions tab up here and since that's the only thing that's on this right here we'll go ahead and click on exceptions now when you're when a program is trying to connect to the internet and it, you get the window it comes up that says do you want to uh, block this, unblock this, or allow this? Um, this is where the exceptions are. In other words, the, the firewall will block it, and it will say, you know, do you want to allow this or not? And if you allow it, it'll put a check right there. And you can see there's quite a few things in here. And I got uh, mTorrent, the Abyss web server right here is a local server that I have for developing ASP.NET applications, and um, there's the Apache HTTP server. Um, Aptana Studio is a program that I use for developing Ajax applications. Uh, CC Proxy. Uh, you can see there's quite a bit of different stuff up here. My Merck and uh, Uvu, uh, Skype, Trillion, all the normal stuff. And you just uh, type in there what you want to allow and what you don't want to allow. On the Advanced tab, and again, let's wait for it to load. And uh, you see I got uh, mTorrent and Azuri. Those are the two torrent programs that I use for those of you that are familiar with torrents out there. Being a security researcher, I am always constantly on the lookout for malware and stuff, especially new malware or what they call zero day malware. And so you can find a lot of that on the free sites or the torrent sites because they're embedded into the those programs you supposedly get for free but right here what, what we're going to be concerned with is the settings tab you click on settings and it'll bring up this right here these are the services or more commonly known as ports on um, the applications if you're looking at the OSI model um, this would be the application layer and uh, this is where you can uh, allow or disallow connections to like an FTP server uh, IMAP3 or IMAP4 server, SMTP, which is mail server, if you're running a mail server on your system, a POP server, remote desktop, 
um, if you don't want people to use a remote de desktop or if you're trying to get someone to use a remote desktop and they can't get on you might want to make sure that this is not checked or unchecked and, and then telnet server the web server and ICMP this is uh, if you ever opened up command prompt and did a ping um, this is where you can allow, disallow or allow those um, there's a little bit of, there's a uh, security reason why you want to not allow these but for the most part you can allow all these if you're on if you do a lot of chatting with IRC your IRC program uh, sends a ping out every so often just to make sure that you're still active on the channel and uh, if it doesn't get a request back or an answer back then you, it might cause problems or frequent disconnects with your IRC client you know it all depends like I said on how you have all this stuff set up normally your people that are on IRC are experienced with uh, Windows but if I just bring it up security logging you always want to make sure that you're allowing security logging log you want to log both drop packets and lock successful connections because um, you want to know what's trying uh, to connect and if it does connect, you still want to know what exactly is being allowed to connect. And uh, that file is by default stored in a Windows uh, directory, your system directory, and it's called pfirewall.log. And this here tells you the size limit in kilobytes, uh, how you want, how large you want that file to be. And again, here's our ICMP settings, a little bit more, but same same tab that we've seen a while ago. And this here is re our restore default settings and um, basically we went over firewalls on PC care man that's uh, a channel on uh, Justin TV that I frequent a lot and I help out in there and it's a basic uh, live show that's broadcast for people to come in and ask questions and stuff and I'm a moderator over there and we did a special yesterday on TCP IP and uh, a basic introduction on firewalls and this is this is just a graphical view a video so you can see exactly where these settings are and how they're uh, configured and stuff and again uh, the Windows firewall is a just a, a basic firewall it's going to check your destination and uh, source IP addresses along with the port but it's not really go too far into the uh, TCP IP packet for like uh, checking state or like checking uh, certain flags or set and stuff like that for stuff like that you'll have to get a more advanced firewall and um, using the sync flags and uh, act flags and stuff you know someone that's using nmap they can bypass the firewall especially a basic one like this by uh, putting in or configuring a TCP IP packet themselves and uh, tricking the uh, computer into thinking that there's a connection going on when there actually isn't and that's only because, like I said, <coughs> the firewall doesn't get that far down into the packet to inspect those flags. And uh, But, you know, for your basic connections and stuff. And also, Windows Firewall won't let you know when an outbound connection is starting. And it, only, it only blocks inbound connections. So, um, like a, a program like Zone Alarm will allow you to monitor outbound connections. And it will warn you if a program on your computer is trying to connect someplace outside your computer. And uh, that's also something that you want to be flagged about and known about. But anyway, that's just your basic introduction to Windows Firewall. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, go ahead and uh, post them in a comment or send me an email, and I'll be glad to answer those. And we'll be covering more about firewalls and stuff when we get into doing more security stuff and re reverse engineering and get uh, a little bit more deeper into programming and stuff. So until next time. Uh, happy holidays, everyone. Hope you all have a nice Christmas, and we'll see you in the next video.